Earth is the only planet known in the solar system to harbor life as it can sustain life for a significant period. For a planet to be livable, it must have the right amount and right composition of the following temperature, water, atmosphere, energy, and nutrients. And one of the main reasons why Earth possesses the right amount of the following is its location on the solar system, the habitable zone or the Goldilocks zone. Temperature influences how quickly atoms and molecules move and if Earth's temperature is too low, it would freeze all the water resources on Earth and it will be too cold for human to live. On the other hand, if Earth's temperature is too high, liquid water would evaporate on the atmosphere and Earth's temperature would be too hot for human and other living things to live. Note that life is only limited to a temperature range of minus 15 degrees Celsius to 115 degrees Celsius. In this range, liquid water can still exist. Among all the planets in the solar system, only Earth's surface is in this temperature range. Water dissolves and transports chemicals within and to and from a cell. It also cleanses and helps regulate body temperature and maintain other bodily functions. Unlike any other planet, here on Earth, water is regularly available. And only Earth's surface has water. Though Mars once had surface water and still has water ice in its polar ice cups, it is not enough for life to thrive there. And lastly, water circulates nutrients to an organism necessary for living. Atmosphere traps heat shields the surface from harmful radiation and provides chemical needed for life, such as nitrogen and carbon dioxide. Earth's gravity is strong enough to hold an atmosphere that holds gas molecules and insulates and shield the Earth from radiation from a small to medium-sized meteors. Although Earth and Venus are the right size to hold a sufficient-sized atmosphere, Venus' atmosphere is 100 times thicker than Earth's. It is made almost entirely of greenhouse gases, making the surface too hot for life to thrive. In trivia, Venus is the hottest planet due to its thick atmosphere. And Mars' atmosphere, on the other hand, is too small for significant insulation or shielding due to its weaker gravity as compared to Earth. Earth perceives enough energy from the sun that provides energy. Energy is what organisms use to run their life processes in a form of light energy or chemical energy. With a steady input of either light or chemical energy, Cells can run the chemical reactions necessary for life. Nutrients are used to build and maintain an organism's body. Since water cycle can operate on Earth's surface, an atmosphere nutrients can be delivered or transported to an organism. Planets with a water cycle or volcanic activity can transport and replenish the chemicals required by living organisms. The planet Earth is the right planet in the right location with the right timing. Earth's size is just enough to hold the right amount of gravity for a livable atmosphere. If it was too large with greater force of gravity, it would have been retained a thick, hostile atmosphere consisting of ammonia and methane. If Earth was smaller, water vapor, oxygen, and other volatiles would escape into space and be lost forever. Earth's interior design has a rigid lithosphere overlaying a weak stenosphere, allowing plate tectonics to operate. As a result, continental crust or the highlands form. Without those highlands, Earth would have been likely covered by an ocean few kilometers deep. Earth is also composed of molten metallic core that supports a magnetic field. It is the magnetic field that prevents lethal cosmic rays or the solar winds from showering Earth's surface. 
The Earth is in the most perfect spot in the solar system that can host life. If it was too near the Sun, like Venus, our atmosphere would consist mainly of greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide making the temperature to be too hot. If Earth was too far from the Sun, the problem would be reversed. It would be too cold and oceans would freeze and a water cycle would not exist. Earth is near a star with average size. Stars like the Sun have a lifespan of 10 billion years and during most of this time, radiant energy is emitted at a constant level. Earth's proximity to the Sun allowed enough time for the evolution of human on this planet million years ago. The first organisms to Earth were extremely primitive, and they are thought to have composed mostly of water vapor and carbon dioxide with small amounts of other gases but no free oxygen. But microorganisms evolved and released oxygen into the atmosphere by the process of photosynthesis. This results to the evolution of forebearers of the many set of organisms that occupy Earth today, and by this process also develop our modern atmosphere. Approximately 65 million years ago, our planet was struck by an asteroid causing the extinction of nearly three-fourths of all plants and animal species, including dinosaurs, and the extinction of dinosaurs opened new habitats for small mammals that survived the impact. These habitats evolved and developed that leads to the development of mammals of today's Earth.